The Minister of Environment has urged contractors handling the remediation of oil spills in Oguni land to deliver quality work. Zarama, while meeting five contractors recently approved by the Federal Executive Council, in addition to the 16 existing ones, said multi-layer monitoring and evaluation teams would be deployed to achieve contract objectives. Uh, we expect high performance from you. Let me at this point also task you as contractors. You have built a reputation over time. You are worthy of what you are doing. So when some people out there cast aspersions on the federal government, on the job that you are handling, it also affects you because it affects your credibility for subsequent jobs you are going to apply to take. So it is not only for us to rebuff or debunk statements that are made against the government on the projects that you are handling. We expect you also to rise up to the occasion to say it is a lie, we are competent, and uh, we can handle this job that we have been given, and the processes we followed were according to the processes set up by law, and we have satisfied all the conditions therein. So if you allow the federal government to only answer, we are the accused, we will say yes, we are giving to the best we think we can, but yet they will say we are giving people your favor. So I think it is also uh, uh, in your own interest to also rise to the friends of the project that you are doing and your own company, the name you have built over time. The project coordinator, who described the contractors as competent, assured that they would remediate Oguni all spill to meet best practices and standards. The we adopted a very robust and transparent process in arriving at all our 21 contractors. The first 16, which were within the approval limit, the ministerial tenders were, are those ones on site currently working. And the last five that had to go through the FEC for approval, which are the ones we are having this week of meeting for. And I want to tell you, assure you, and for anybody who doubts it, to check the credentials of all our 21 contractors that first they meet all the mandatory requirements and two they meet all the regulatory requirements that is the what that's what the law of nigeria says there is also within that advert a portion that allows the companies to partner with international uh, companies with superior technical uh, capacity for two reasons to ensure that the project is delivered, and two, to develop the capacity of the local company to carry on work. This was ensured. All the companies, most of which have technical partnership. I want to assure Nigerians, I want to assure all of you here, I want to assure the public that this project is one that has come out of agitation of over four decades. And this is the first time any government in the history of Nigeria has attempted or addressed the issue of environmental concerns in the Niger Delta and President Buhari has led the way. The project management consultant charged contractors on security of project materials and the environment. Let me also say that security is a challenge for us who we have agreed that every contractor has responsibility for security within the confines of the delineated area. And so you must make adequate provision for that. But outside the elimination area, the hyper has responsibility for security and is making adequate arrangements to ensure security of the environment, the holistic environment.